everybody, my name is Mac, and today I'm going to show you how to create Google Ads location extension groups. So if you have multiple locations like I do for one of my businesses, I'm gonna show you how to group extensions and apply them to your Google Ads campaigns to make sure if you're a marketer or a business owner in multiple locations, you're correct, uh, selecting and creating the right location groups and extensions. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button, turn on that bell for post notifications. I create videos every week helping marketers and business owners with Google, SEO, and digital marketing so they can grow their business and have more success. And in this video, we're gonna talk about creating Google Ads location group extensions. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so let's show you how to set up a location group in Google Ads. There's a few ways you can go about it. Uh, one easy way is going to ads and assets. This is gonna be considered a location extension. Uh, there's ad extensions for you know business name, logo, calls, lead forms, prices, call outs, site links, images, and more. You wanna to go to location. But also another way to check it out is go to tools and settings in the top right. You can go to location groups. And you don't have any location groups. So you can also check over here on uh, business data. Uh, one way to look at it here. Mm, can't do it in this account. So let's see if there's any other opportunity here. Let me get out of this business data. Da, 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 da. Um, usually you can do it from location groups or business data. If that's not an option, location groups, upload history. All right, so we're gonna have to do it the individual way. So you wanna go to ads and assets. Like I said, go to assets, locations. You can create this asset, which is a location group, um, and choose the location right here. Or you could link it to a profile or business manager or select curated locations. All right, so it gave us this option because the user and owner of the account, which is the client, has the account linked and is an admin on the account. So we can select the location by finding a business profile manager account. So that's the easier option. Now, another option, so now she has to approve the request. So you can screenshot this and tell the client. Another option, if the client doesn't have access and doesn't have a linked account, uh, let's find another account here, let me pause. All right, here's another client business profile. This one's linked, but it would show you, you can create a location group like this. So all synced locations, location groups, you can create a location group, which would be these, and this one's already synced and set up properly. So let's find one more account so we can show you how to set this up. All right, here's an example where it hasn't been properly set up yet. So it's using all the locations in our umbrella account, and you can see all these linked here below. So some of these might even be able to be getting clicks, which is not a good thing. You don't want any clicks to other locations. Obviously you want clicks to your location in the ad extension, which looks like, I'll show you Google ads location extensions. So if we go to Google images, let's see if it gives us examples right here, it'll pop up if you have multiple locations or one location will pop up and they can click that in the ad. So we wanna make sure we're using the right extension. And in some cases like this, if you're an MCC or manage multiple accounts, you wanna have that set up properly. So you wanna choose and select all campaigns. It shows all locations selected. We do not want that. All sync locations, no. Location group, now you can create a location group and call this the client name and search the client business. And now you can assign this they have two locations, this would be the location group. So now we have a location group, we can save here. And now that location group, only those uh, location extensions will be shown in the ads instead of all locations. So that's really the best way to go about it and you can assign it to different campaigns based on location, et cetera. While you're in here, I'd also suggest creating all extensions, add your business name, your business logo, site links, call out extensions. We're not running any search campaigns right now, but call extension, structured snippets, price, whatever's relevant to your business. You can also add images, promotions, et cetera. So I hope this helps you figure out location groups and location ad extensions for Google Ads. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. Uh, hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on for post notifications. If you're a marketer or a business owner, hopefully we can help you grow your business and we will see you next time.